Okay, so in class, we left off with um, the two, two column proofs. So question number eight, it says the diagram below shows rectangle ABCD with points E and F on side AB. Segments CE and DF intersect at G. And angle ADG is congruent to BCG. Prove that segment AE is congruent to BF. So I want to prove that this segment right here, AE, is congruent to BF. Well, how am I going to do that? I'm going to first start by highlighting the angles that they noted to be congruent. So angle A, D, G is this angle right here. And rather stopping there, I'm going to go all the way up to F and then connect the two sides, and that is triangle ADF. I'm going to grab a different color and highlight the other angle, B, C, G. Again, and take it all the way up to E, and that's going to give me triangle B, C, E. And you can see right here where the two colors overlapped here at EF. So if I just am looking at how I'm going to do this, EF uh, by reflexive is the overlapping part. And if I take AF, which is the sign of the triangle up here in orange, A all the way to F, and I subtract EF, I'm left with AE which is what I want. And then the other triangle, this side here, BE, if I take BE and subtract EF, that overlapping part, I'm left with FB. So if I can get these two triangle, or these two sides of the triangle, AF and BE to be congruent, then I can finish it by the subtraction property. Okay, so how can I do that? Well, one way is to prove those two triangles congruent. So the first uh, statement is written. Okay, that's our given. Step number two, okay, I'm going to discuss this and then move it so I can write it below. We know that opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So we know that AD is congruent to BC. Um, also, since I didn't mark it, I was highlighting it, I'm going to mark those angles that we were told to be congruent. And then I also know that this angle A and B, which I'm going to number as 1 and 2, those two angles, because the rectangle, are right angles, and all right angles are congruent. So therefore, the two triangles so this triangle here, A, D, F, is congruent by angle, side, angle. And then the other triangle is also, um, well, the, the orange triangle is congruent to this triangle. The two triangles are congruent by, here is angle, side, angle. Okay? So I want to state that opposite sides are congruent and that we have right angles, which are congruent, and therefore the two triangles congruent. So step number two. Whoops, let's change the thickness of the pen. Is that AD is congruent to BC because opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. And then the right angles, so angle 1 and angle 2 are right angles, and all right angles are congruent. Again, we have the right angles because a rectangle has uh, four right angles are all right angles. Okay. 
and four, all right angles are congruent. Now to write the triangles in order of congruent angles and congruent sides, I'm going to go back up to the picture. And I'll say, I'll write ADF. So I'm going A, D to F. So A is congruent to B. So if I do ADF, I have to do A, C, E. My E was covered up. So ADF is congruent to B, C, B. And that was by angle. And then the last two steps, or three rather, are going to come up back up to what we were discussing to start right here. So the question was, how did I get these two sides to be congruent? Well, once we prove the two triangles are congruent, any corresponding part is congruent by CPCTC. So step six is going to be AF congruent to BE. CPCTC, because those are corresponding sides. We're going to do EF reflexive, or EF congruent to EF by the reflexive property. And then A, um, AE is congruent to BF by the subtraction property. Okay. So pause for a minute if you need to um, before we finish with um, proof in number nine.